Hey guys, this is Rob with Levi. I am Levi. So I have a story slash lesson about savings I want to talk to you guys about. I know you're not going to want to hear this, but this is important, so hear me out. I was at work. We were in a group talking about money, things we wanted to buy, things we wanted in the future, all that jazz. So I brought up the subject of savings. To my surprise, nobody is really saving like they should be saving. I mean, married with kids, just married, and single. Nobody really saves that much. And it kind of threw me off because everybody likes having money in their pockets. I know some people think that money comes, money goes, it's always going to be there. But what if that money is not just for you? What if it's for somebody else that may need help? What if there's a certain situation that you need to have some extra money in the bank for so I piqued the interest of this one guy who pulled me aside later on and started asking more questions. He asked me, how can I start saving? Not just buying a savings account. He wanted to know, like, step by step what he could do to start saving a good amount. So I told him how I started. And here's where it comes in. I started low and I started slow. I started saving $100 a month last year $50 on the 1st and $50 on the 15th because for my primary job I get paid twice a month on those days so $50 on the 1st $50 on the 15th that's $100 a month it's not that big of a deal we blow $100 quick quick within a week so why not save it so from there I started realizing that I have more money to play with so I bumped it up to $100 on the 1st $100 on the 15th so I'm like, okay, I'm really starting to, you know, make some headwind with this savings. I look at my daughter, who was about to be three, and at the time she was just turning two, and I was like, man, she needs to have her own nest egg. I should have started this when she was born, but my mentality wasn't there yet. So I went and I opened up a bank account in my name, not in hers, because if you open up a savings account in your child's name, all that money that you're saving up until they're 18, it gets taxed when they turn 18. Know this. That's some stuff that a lot of people don't know. I didn't know until I found it at the bank. So I opened up a, an account in her name, excuse me, in my name, and I started putting in $100 on the 1st and on the 15th for her. So I did the same thing for myself. And then I started doing the same thing for my wife. So now... I'm saving $600 a month. I started off saving $100 a month. Now I'm saving way more than $600. But at the time, $600 a month, that's a big thing. That is a big thing for even people in their 40s to do, you know, let alone with somebody that's 26. So I started slow and I started low and I just built up from there and realized how much money I really had to play with. Because, you know, you don't think about it when you're going out to eat and you're traveling, you're having a good old time, and then you realize, like, dang, we're almost broke. Now, we always say that we're almost broke, but we save so much money that we're, we're really well off when it comes to that. And really, everybody could be as well off because I know a whole lot of people that are making a whole lot more money than me. Now, I do have a second and a third job that I make money from. You know, I'm a, I'm a hustler. That's what I do. So I make extra money doing side things and, you know, with the clothing line and talking to people and uh, motivational speaking and stuff like that. I make a little here and there. But from my primary, we save a decent amount. And now my wife is working, so we add more money to it. So think about that. When you look at your, your paycheck next time, you get paid. Think of how much money of that is going towards your bills and how much money is left over. However much money you calculate to be left over, save a little bit of that. Start. You could even start with $25 from your first check and $25 from your second check. And if you get paid uh, by the day on tips, save a percentage of that and put that in your savings. But you need to save. You need to because one day it's going to come where you're going to need a couple hundred and you're going to be thankful that you started saving low and slow and you built yourself up to saving a couple hundred a month. This is Raw Words with Levi.
like, subscribe, leave a comment below. If you ever want to talk to me about anything, my email is in the description below. Talk to you guys later.